Okay, here we go again, charter number four of the Caribbean season. It's December 28th. We're docked here in Yacht Haven Grand in St. Thomas, and the guests are just about to land in the private jet in about 20 minutes time. So I'm on the way to the airport to go pick them up and get this charter underway. Boat is looking great. The boys have done an absolutely fantastic job putting it all together. And now all we've got to do now is bring the guests on board and get this party started. We'll be off the dock in about an hour after our guests arrive, but for now we just got to pick them up and get out of here. So stick around and let's have a great charter. Here we go, so we have the guests on board. We've just pulled off the dock and now we've got about an hour 20 passage around St. Thomas and we're gonna go end up in Megan's Bay. Conditions are nice and calm. Guests seem great, they seem super lovely, really nice family, so it's gonna be a great 10 days as we uh, cruise through the Virgin Islands. Let's get it done. Yep, copy that, we can go port anchor. We're gonna sneak on past Revelry. Might be a couple of minutes. Yeah, copy that, just above waterline, thank you. Okay, so you might have just heard, we have just arrived in Megan's Bay. Uh, we just dropped the chase boat behind us, the HCB. Now we're just gonna nose our way into the anchorage. Another couple of seconds, but uh, still already, we've got all the chain out. We went with two shots in the water. We're only in eight meters of water, so not particularly deep, but it's a nice sandy bottom here. So uh, two shots, plenty of chain out for what do we have? 0 0.5 knots of wind right now. Not much, nothing really in the forecast through the night, but even still two knots, two shackles in this depth should hold us up to about 30 knots of wind. Dill just told me anchor's got a long stay and it looked like it had a good bite. That means that the anchor chain came out nice and stretched and then went really tight and then you could feel the boat sort of lurch back forwards, so meaning that, that the anchor down. grabbed nicely. Yeah, that's us, we're here. It's 10 minutes past midnight, we'll hand it over to the night watchman. Dylan's on watch through the night, so he's up till 5 a.m. And then I'll go get some rest and do it all again tomorrow. Thanks guys, see you tomorrow. Okay, welcome to day two of the charter. It's our first full day. It's been busy. It's already four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm only starting this now. Just shows you that there's been a lot going on. The guests have just been outside going flat out on every single toy we have. It's been busy. There's been two tenders going, the ski nautique. Everyone's been wake surfing and wakeboarding. The X-Craft has been going with the tube and hydrofoils, sea bobs, snorkeling, swimming, kids everywhere what we like to see. So yeah, we're just, just trying to manage that at the moment. And I think Paul has just left now with the guests and is taking them snorkeling somewhere around here. I'm not too sure where they went, I didn't check, but I'm sure that he has a GoPro with him and I think he will get some of that footage for you. I am going to take you guys around and see what everyone is up to. I know that everyone is slammed and super busy, but let's go around and see what's happening. What's happening here, girls? This is dinner prepping. Ooh. We're doing Asian. Oh, no way, it's the table skirt. Yeah. Nice. So it's going to go in the middle of the table. So we're creating our own little Asian looking tree here. And Moose prepping drinks. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Who ready? Who ready? Who ready? Who ready? Who ready? Okay, so here we go. We're uh, just left the balloon. We've got a boat full of guests, and we're going to run out to one of the outer islands here in the uh, USBI. See if we can get some lobsters for dinner. It's uh, never a lobster season here in the USBI, so we just need to hand catch them. A limit of 12 per boat, so let's see if we can limit out. Let's go. arrived in the beautifully named Cockroach Island here in the USVI. We're gonna jump in and see if we can get some lobsters. Get our masks on, get our fins on, let's get in the water and see what we can find. All right, beautiful in here. Temperature's perfect. Let's find us some lobsters. Lobster. 
excited. Oh, it's pretty, is it a pretty deep hole though? It's quite dark. Let's see if we can get him out. I don't know if you were able to see, but there's actually another four lobsters in that hole. But obviously I pulled the big one out and now the rest of them are all scared and right in against the back there. So I'll do what I can and um, see if we can pull them out too. But I might just let them settle for a little bit. I've marked the hole and I'll keep swimming around and maybe see if I can find some others while we're uh, waiting. Okay, a little smaller than the last, but uh, still, still pretty decent. A bit of the wood. That guy, he's already lost one of his uh, feelers. It's been missing a while. You can see that it's pretty over. So someone's had a go at him already. There you go, Dale. All right. He's got it. You got it? I got him. Nice. Awesome dive. Uh, now we're going to go back to the boat and uh, let's cook up these lobsters. Let's go. Just going down there, Joe. Just cleaning up. Feeling a little jealous that I didn't catch any crabs, but. <laughs> 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 He's had to go over. <laughs> what was that? Wow, new fear. <laughs> you know, you know, you should never show weakness around yeah. us. <laughs> You're gonna wake up with that in your bed very <laughs> soon. <laughs> Just a lobster yeah. head in the morning. <laughs> okay, so two nice lobsters on the boat. I already texted Dean as we were running back in to be prepared. So Dean's ready for them. He's gonna cook them up for an appetizer for the guests this evening. So let's go drop them off with Dean and let him get going. <laughs> Hello! Paige! I haven't seen you in ages. I haven't seen you. I don't even think you've seen YouTube in ages. No. What's going I on? I've been in this laundry with this camera in my hair long time. <laughs> I'm sure it's you missed nice. it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I am busy ironing guest linen from when we flipped the other day. Nice. Guest laundry. Whoa, look at that steamy shirt over there. This one. That one, that's a good shirt. Casa eh? Azul mascot t shirt. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dishes that we send out. Gyozas, uh, bao buns, duck pancakes, vegetarian spring rolls, normal spring rolls, shrimp toast, tempura eggplant. Then the guests caught some lobster, so we cooked up some lobster. Fresh caught lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be fun, check it out. So the boys are just behind me, they are putting the tenders and toys away for the day, packing up, 
Uh, they've just put the ski nautique back in and then I think the jet skis are still out. So those are gonna go in and try and start winding down for the day. And then I'll go check in with Paul and check what our plans are for this evening. If we're gonna stay here on anchor or if we're gonna lift anchor and move to our next spot. I'm not too sure what the plans are, if we will leave tonight or tomorrow, but we'll see. I know that the next base is gonna be epic. So stay tuned. Okay, good morning. It's day three and we're just currently picking up anchor and about to move out of Megan's Bay. Gonna cruise over to St. John for the uh, afternoon, do a bit of hiking, and then we're gonna make our way into the BVIs for uh, this evening, uh, try and get ahead of that New Year's rush of all the other yachts trying to clear customs immigration in the BVIs. It should be a great day. Weather is beautiful, wind is calm, so let's get it done. Yo, what's up, Yo, how's it going? What's going on for lunch today? Uh, got a nice little kind of Mediterranean style lunch, I think. We've got some dry age, 45 day dry age tomahawk steaks with shoestring fries, fries and pepper sauce. Then we've got a crispy skinned Ori King salmon with a fennel salad and some tartare sauce. Got a chicken breast piccata with garlic herb rice and then a tofu version for the vegans. And then we've got a heirloom carrot baby spinach, candied pecans and a maple vinaigrette. And then another salad, we've got rocket, grilled broccolini, snow peas, green beans, toasted almonds, and a Italian dressing. Nice little lunch there. I think this is their style. They expressed that on the first day, which I, I really love uh, talking to the guests and making sure that I get their preferences right and make sure I cook the food that they like to eat. That's it <laughs> for today. <laughs> guests have just stepped off the boat and I'm gonna try and film a quick little Instagram reel with the boys and some of the crew here we go I've got the insta 360 attached to the drone and we're gonna try and drop it and all jump at the same time I've never done this before I have no idea what this is gonna look like we're gonna have to get our timing perfectly but you're running out of time because we have to lift anchor and go so we're gonna do this quickly Paul's gonna drop and we're gonna jump Ready? Let's do it. Let's go. That must be the drone. Okay. It's gonna go, I'm gonna go drop, and then he's gonna go, 3, 2, 1, go! Yeah, yeah. So like, we're it's about 10, 15 meters above us, that's where we're gonna jump. Because we want to be in the air as it's nice Moose, what do you think? I'm anxious. Yeah. You're anxious? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just press record. Okay. And go, 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 go. jump, jump! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That was pretty good actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think the boys might have might have pulled that off on the first attempt. <laughs> nice. How, how was that, boys? That was good fun. That was awesome. That was rad. <laughs> yeah. That was no jokes. <laughs> I think that was you, so cool. I think I the know. timing was almost. Uh... If the camera hit the water before us, so it wasn't perfect. We were trying to hit the water at the same time as the camera, but it was still super close. It was close. missing, eh? <laughs> super close. It's but a yeah, fun we'll jump. see. We lost the back plate. I don't know what happened there. Can't pause it. Um, but yeah, we'll see what the footage looks like now. Uh, just been sent ahead from Loon. We're just anchored off uh, Congo K there. Uh, Key K, whatever you want to call it. Just anchored off there now. Uh, I've just been shot ahead. I was going to check this beach here, which is near uh, Maho, Maho Point. Give a quick look, see if we can drop them off in the X Craft, our beach lander. Uh, we're gonna go for a little hike ashore. I wouldn't say little, it's actually decent and it's steep. We have snuck weights into Franco's bag, so that's another victim for this trip. Uh, his hike is a lot more extensive than what Chris's was, so we'll see how that turns out. All right, so we've dropped the guests off for their hike. It's going to Reef Bay. We've got two ladies with us now. Just checking out this old mill here. Look at this. It's an old sugar mill. Reef Bay sugar mill. Uh, the hike finishes here. 
They used to make rum here. It's had two different owners, so it's had two different renovations. And this is awesome in here. Got this big wheel. I'm assuming it's some sort of furnace or where they used to pump all the all the liquid into. Um, awesome place here. It's a steam power. There you go, it's a steam power room in there. Quite an incredible little place here. Loving, loving this side of the yachting. It's always awesome you can do this on charter. Enjoy. Just finished at the sugar mill. We've got the guys back on board. Just cruising now, look at this sunset. Beautiful. There's a hay CB. Yes, it is a beautiful day outside. day four today. Uh, we are anchored just off the island of Little Uist Van Dijk. Super cloudy this morning, not the best weather. We're gonna, gonna try and make the most of today. It is the 31st today, so New Year's Eve. Hopefully it's a really good day and it clears up later, fingers crossed. But we're gonna try and make the most of today and send the guests out of here this afternoon to a little New Year's Eve party that's happening. Hopefully they enjoy that and the weather clears up. But until then, we're just gonna take them on a dive and do some water sports. So. We'll see. Also, side note, it's actually cleared up and it's pretty windy, but it's turning into a beautiful evening. Like the sun's getting to that nice golden hour. And it's actually looking pretty good. So that's a good thing. But I think the wind is gonna stay around, but that's okay. We're, we're tucked away and kind of protected here. So not too bad. Okay, so the rain's kind of eased up a little bit, but it's still quite overcast. So we figured, you know what, let's make the most of the day and go for a scuba dive. So we've just left Loon. We're going to cruise around to the uh, north side of Yost Van Dyke and jump in the water, have a, have a swim, have a snorkel, have a bit of a scuba dive, maybe see if we can catch some lionfish. And uh, yeah, let's have a great afternoon. Awesome dive. Yeah. <sighs> right. Shot a couple of lionfish, caught a lobster. We're in the BVI, so I returned the lobster. Still managed to pull them out and show the guests. Yeah. But uh, such a really cool dive. First one for me here on the north side of Yost. But uh, we'll definitely be back and doing this one again. No, right, let's get back to Loon. Time for lunch. Yo. Yo. What's going on? What's going on? Sweat cup. Back at it. So Dill is on knots this trip. He is our knot guy. It rotates every trip throughout the deck, boys. Yeah, it's a long night. I'm trying to prep for the next day. It's always a laugh when as I finish my shift, it just starts raining. So the boys have to do what I've done already anyways. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. So back at it, day number four. So we'll see how the rest of it goes. Okay, so we're just picking up anchor. Uh, it's about 7 p.m. It's New Year's Eve. What we're going to do is we're just going to move about two miles over to Great Bay on Joost van Dyke so that our uh, guests are closer to the festivities for this evening. We're right underneath the fireworks. It's a short little tender ride for them into Foxy's for their party this evening. Wind's blowing about 15 knots, so we didn't want to beat them up in the tender and get them wet before they got ashore. So just figured we'd just slide over and just be there so we're nice and close and comfortable for the evening. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to let us know what you thought of the video in the comments and uh, make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on part two coming on later in the week. So from all the Loon crew, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.